speakers I know that have been patiently waiting on, on this item. This is uh, rec consider recommendations relating to the adoption of a minimum wage ordinance. Um, why don't we ask, what, obviously we have a, a packet uh, here and I know I made the referral uh, at the Board of Supervisors level. Or anything you want or the administration wants to add, is, that, is there a presentation at all on this? I, uh, we're prepared to provide a summary uh, report if uh, the committee is interested. Otherwise, uh, we assume that you have reviewed the material that we provided, and uh, we'd be happy to answer any questions that the committee may have. Yeah, why don't, Bruce, if you want to add anything, uh, please do. Otherwise, um, Bruce can we'll pass go, it and go ahead to the speakers and hear what they have to say. Take asset and economic development director. The only item to add is that there was a letter submitted July 31st from the California Hotel and Lodging Association that went to the clerk. It was distributed to all of the board members. It was not, however, included in this agenda packet. Uh, in short, it recommends that the board uh, not rely on San Jose's Measure D as the repercussions and effects of the action have not been fully realized. Um, it also emphasizes that in Santa Clara County, 2011, local tax receipts generated $97 million generated by travel and uh, led to the creation of 19,000 new jobs in the metropolitan statistical area of San Jose, Sunnyvale, Santa Clara. Uh, between June 2012 and June 2013, leisure and hospitality led to the creation of 6,000 jobs and in one month between May 2013 and June 2013, 1,300 new jobs. Otherwise, everything else is included in our reports. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Uh, we may have some questions. Uh, I know I'll, I have a couple uh, before we take any action or do whatever we're going to do with the report at this point, but why don't we go ahead and hear from, from speakers. Um, we've a quick count, look like we had eight or nine speaker uh, requests here. Um, just go ahead and come up. I'm going to call you up, call you up three at a time. Uh, just keep things moving along, and everyone will have two minutes to speak consistent with what we've been doing all afternoon here with other speakers, other subjects. Um, so the first speaker is Bimal Patel who I think is representing California Hotel Lodging Association, Mike Mantelli, and Randy Costa. Good afternoon, Supervisors, and thank you uh, for giving me the opportunity to speak on behalf of the California Hotel and Lodging Association. My name is Bimal Patel. I'm also a hotel owner here in Santa Clara County, uh, as well as the chairman of the board of, of the organization. And on behalf of our 1,800 members, uh, we, we would like to oppose Santa Clara County's further consideration for adoption of a minimum wage ordinance at this time. And the reason is uh, we'd like to take, uh, we'd like the board to take some more time to vet out uh, this potential increase and its effect on, on business in the unincorporated areas and its effect on, on the county. Uh, we'd like to see an economic impact study completed by an independent, nonpartisan uh, research organization um, uh, on the effects of the San Jose minimum wage increase. Uh, we we want to take a closer look at, at, at the unintended consequences um, that were mentioned in, in the City of San Jose's initiative report back in May 2012, things like uh, hiring freezes, uh, decrease in benefits and, and increase of competitiveness for minimum wage jobs. Uh, we, we'd like to really let the San Jose minimum wage uh, increase kind of take a look at it closer and, 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 and really make sure that we're doing the right thing here, uh, here at the county. We'd also like uh, the county to consider the potential increased effects of private litigation on the business community and to the county due to the potential uh, enforcement issues mentioned in the council, council's report on pages eight and nine. Uh, and finally, what we'd like to see is um, the county allow the state to move forward with the pending legislation that's in Sacramento right now. 
uh, with in, in regards to a potential increase in the minimum wage, and that's AB 10 Alejo, which is set to be heard in the, in the Appropriations Committee on August the 12th. Thank you. Yeah, thank you for being here. Mike Mantilli. Uh, 